April the 5th, 2024. Guys, you're looking at the earthquake map from the USGS, and what you're looking at are the quakes that have been happening in New Jersey. This is west of New York, but they're being felt all the way up into Boston. And uh, this, it started with this 4.8, and I'm going to show you a couple of things about this. We haven't had a powerful quake like this, and it, it's not an 8 or 7 or anything like that. I understand that, but for the U.S., it is a large quake, especially for the East Coast. Now, the reason we're so stable in many parts of the U.S. except the West Coast is the fact that of the North American craton, and we're going to get into that. But you can see the very edges of it here. You see that? It's a very large, ancient rock structure that is stable. And then you've got uh, the West Coast. A lot of that many, many years ago was under, sea, under shallow oceans. And, guys, things have uh, changed throughout the U.S. and the North American continent over millions of years. But what we're dealing with now is a very powerful shifting of this section, the North American Craton, and it runs down through here and back up. Basically a solid mass that's very strong. It was part of the ancient continents, and you've seen maps where the continents have drifted and pulled apart and pushed together, things like that. This is one of the steady sections, so when it moves, there's definitely things going on. But the last one anywhere near here that was this strong was uh, the one that hit just outside of D.C. Guys, remember the videos of people running down from the uh, Washington Monument? You know, and that thing is uh, above ground, 500-something feet. I think it's 666 feet, all of it together. But uh, there was the walls were shaking, plaster was falling. People were running and screaming. That was just a 5. This was a 4.8, very close to that. But again, you can see where this the North American Craton is here. All along this, you've had, south of it again, the New Madrid, the Mississippi River runs down through this section. This is uh, Alabama, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana in this section. Well, guys, was it back in the 1800s, we had a lunar eclipse, and we had a great earthquake called the New Madrid earthquake, okay? And that was the strongest ever on the North American continent. Some of the uh, stories and all, you probably heard about them, but some of them will, are more detailed than others, and it will really wake you up to how powerful something like that is. I'm going to change this map slightly. Now, let me point out something here. We've got quakes along the Mississippi River. This is uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri here. Pop above uh, Arkansas. Here's Memphis, Tennessee. This is part of the North American Craton Edge, and it has a lot to do with the New Madrid Fault. So it looks like we're seeing pressure on both sides of it. See that right there? Now the 4.8 is here, and it was saying um, 2024 White House Station, New Jersey earthquake 4.7 reports are that it was felt all the way to boston so my friends in that area or anywhere on the east coast tell me if you felt it in the comments and then we can kind of draw a circle on this thing and get an accurate shake map but again if you felt it in boston that's quite a ways check this out and the craton the edges of it are here and that's why you're seeing this piling up of the appalachians and all of these mountain systems through here, that craton, and then above you've got the Canadian Shield, part of the upper section of this. Let's take a look at that. Now, guys, you can pause this at any time and look at it, or you can screenshot this map. It's very, uh, it's very interesting to me. But you've got the craton in orange, and uh, here you've got a platform that's in the center of the Canadian Shield. But the Canadian Shield itself is part of the North American craton. Look how it comes along the edge of the Appalachians here. And right in there, there's Long Island, guys. So you're inland from here. Again, it was felt all the way up into Boston. The Colorado Plateau is part of uh, a cratonic region surrounded by mountains. And it looks like it dips down into the Arizona area somewhat and possibly part of the Mag uh, Magellan Rim there. The Rocky Mountains lie east and north of the Colorado Plateau. The Washita Mountains are here, being pushed up from the bottom, or from the south of the Craton. Appalachians to the east, the Rockies to the west. The coastal plain is a low area, and this is covered by sediment. All of this, guys. Mississippi, Florida, 
Alabama, a lot of the you know North and South Carolina along the coast of Virginia, all the way down into Texas, coastal plains, and that means that sediment runoff from the mountains that has built up over millions of years. You can see how deep this Mississippi Valley is right there where the river runs and why we had such large rising and falling of the land itself during that new Madrid quake. And that's what, this is what we're dealing with. Very interesting map, but history like this and geology and history is a very interesting to me because there's so much involved in looking back and through the millions of years of changes. Again, you've seen where the continent shift, right? And think about the North American uh, cordillera includes all the mountains west of the Craton through here. And then all of this outside of that was very shallow seas at one time. But uh, it's again with that new Madrid fault uh, coming at the time of a, a great solar eclipse and this was told by his name was Tecumseh if I'm not uh, mistaken he was known to his people as a prophet in sort but he uh, talked about comets he talked about the earthquake and he talked about lunar uh, solar eclipses and as we're going through the cycles again I will put a link to that New Madrid earthquake, guys, and we'll look at the dates on it and all. But that was an amazing event. And the U.S. was not heavily populated like it is now. There was not a big Memphis, Tennessee, or all the cities. Think about all the big cities that go up the Mississippi River, come down all the way to New Orleans. And you just didn't have that population. But, guys, when the, you have the ground shifting so much, and look at the depth of the Mississippi River Valley there, that the Mississippi River flowed north for a while. It would, the trees fell, everything was washed away. It was waves like on the ocean. People, it was, it was crazy, some of the pictures that, uh, that have survived that era. Now the quake was reported that people felt it from Boston to Baltimore, and that was just before 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time Many incoming flights at the three major airports in and around New York City were being diverted from landing. According to the Federal Aviation Administration outlet, the 4.8 quake was felt now in New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Boston, and Connecticut, with Lebanon, New Jersey as the epicenter. Now that is where, by the way, I think Trump has one of his big, nice golf courses or golf resorts, something right there. And he was very near, or that was very near the epicenter. In a social media post just before 10 a.m., the U.S. Geological Survey earthquake said it was a 4.8 magnitude quake. It was a notable quake. Preliminary info was at uh, 7 kilometers north of White House Station, New Jersey. Governor of New York said the quake was felt throughout her state. My team is assessing impacts and any damage that may have occurred, and we will update the public throughout the day. The, in January, another quake reportedly shook New York City, which may have prompted reports of an explosion at the East River's Roosevelt Island. Remember that, guys? Blue flash. But this was, again, a movement of the North American craton, talking about a massive hunk of rock. So it takes something to cause that to shift. It would take either... Uh, a great shift in one of the plates, maybe from lava rising. We do know that that runs up towards Iceland. And it definitely will be close to the path of the eclipse. Not saying that will have any effect of it again. But again, I think everyone should look up Tecumseh and uh, the New Madrid quake and some of the other prophecies that are tied to that. As a matter of fact, if I can, like I said, I just got in, had several doc her visits uh, was in the hospital this past Tuesday I've got to go back in guys uh, today's the 5th on the 17th so 12 days and uh, I'll give you an update through there still fighting the late afternoon exhaustion and uh, a few other and some aches and pains I'll just put it like that not trying to talk about it but people keep asking me and so many of you helped that I do feel like I should give you some type of report and uh, we'll find out more after the test results on the 17th of the kidneys. And um, again, we'll just go from there with it, and I appreciate you. So what I want to do is 
in this video here then I'm gonna I've got some things I got to do outside while I still can do it and I'm gonna come back in and sit down and put the Tecumseh video together guys it's very interesting um, so just pay attention to uh, what's going on around you you saw and if, if you didn't remember go back and look at where that Craton runs from from coming out of Canada looping down to our state and then moving back up the East Coast and just realize you saw today there's small quakes down in that southeast corner of it already that is a major movement if that now that would trigger that would be one of the things that's going to move massively when our Lord Jesus Christ sets his foot down on the Mount of Olives because he says it will be the earth, greatest earthquake ever known and it's going to take that type of quake to really shift this but again you think about the new Madrid fault and that quake and what happened but all over the planet we're watching it guys you watch it it's a heads up be safe